This is part 95 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between role-based authorization and claims-based authorization. Authorization in general is the process of determining what the logged in user can and cannot do. Based on our application authorization requirements in ASP.NET Core, we can use claims-based authorization, role-based authorization or even a combination of both. Depending on the nature of the business, most organizations have predefined roles, maybe something like employee, manager, HR, etc. So, based on the role or roles the logged in user belong to, we may or may not authorize access to certain resources within our application. Since we are using roles to make the authorization checks, we commonly call this role based authorization or role based access control. RBAC. In ASP.NET Core, as you can see in this example, to implement role based authorization, we use the authorize attribute with the roles parameter. The value for this parameter is one or more roles separated by comma. So, in this example, only the users who are members of the admin role will be able to access the actions within the administration controller. We discussed role-based authorization in detail in part 82 of this video series. Claims-based authorization is also called claims-based access control CBAC. Before we understand what claims-based authorization is, first let's understand what a claim is. A claim is a name value pair. It's really a piece of information about the user, not what the user can and cannot do. For example, username, email, age, gender, etc. These are all claims. They carry information about the user. How you use these claims for authorization checks in your application is up to your application business and authorization requirements. For example, if you're building an employee portal, you may allow the logged in user to apply for a maternity leave only if the gender claim value is female. Similarly, if you're building an e-commerce application, you may allow the logged in user to submit an order if the age claim value is greater than or equal to 18. In ASP.NET Core, claims are policy based. We create a policy and then include one or more claims in that policy. We then use the policy along with the policy parameter of the authorize attribute to implement claims based authorization. We discussed claims based authorization in detail in part 94 of this video series. Now, in ASP.NET Core, a role is a standard claim type. That is, a role is a claim with type role. Let's confirm this. At the moment, I have the project that we've been working with so far in this video series running in debug mode and I have a breakpoint on this action manage user roles within the administration controller. At the moment, we are on the list users page. Let me click edit for this user and we can see this user prajim at prajimtech.com is a member of these two roles admin and test role and we know in ASP.NET Core a role is a claim with type role and we want to confirm this. So let's click this manage roles button. Our breakpoint is hit. Let's go to the immediate window. If immediate window is not available for you right here, click on debug windows and then immediate or you can use the keyboard shortcut control D I. In the immediate window, type this command user. This is the logged in user and on this we have claims. This is going to return us the list of all claims. We don't want all the claims. We only want role claim types. So let's use where link extension method and filter the claims. Claim such that claim dot type equals we have claim types and on this we can see the different types of claims but we are only interested in role claim type. Notice the two roles this logged in user belong to admin and test role are actually claims of type role. So in ASP.NET Core a role is a claim with type role. Now we already know claims are policy based and a role is also a claim with type role. 
This means even with roles, we can use the new policy syntax. Let me explain what I mean. If we take a look at the startup class, notice in the configure services method, we are creating a claims policy here. For that, on the authorization options object, we are calling add policy method, giving the policy a name, and then including one or more claims in this policy using require claim method. Now, we already know a role in ASP.NET Core is a claim with type role. This means we can use this new policy syntax even with roles. So let's make a copy of this lambda and create a policy for the admin role. First, let's change the name of the policy to admin role policy. And then in this new policy, we want to include one or more roles. To include a role in a policy, we use require role method. And then we specify the list of roles right here. In our case, we just want the admin role. If you want to include more than one role, simply separate them with a comma like that. We can now use this policy to protect a controller or a controller action. At the moment, on the administration controller, we are still using the roles parameter of the authorized attribute. And the value for this is the name of the role. Since we now have a policy, we can use this policy to protect our administration controller. To use a policy, we use the policy parameter. And the value for this is the name of the policy. So the question is, why do we have both role-based and claims-based authorization in ASP.NET Core? Well, in previous versions of ASP.NET, we did not have claims-based authorization, only role-based authorization. Claims-based authorization is relatively new and is the recommended approach. With it, we can also use claims from external identity providers like Facebook, Google, Twitter, etc. We'll discuss using external identity providers and the claims they provide in our upcoming videos. Role-based authorization is still supported in ASP.NET Core for backward compatibility. While claims-based authorization is the recommended approach, depending on your application authorization requirements, you may use role-based authorization, claims-based authorization, or even a combination of both. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.